Hello all. Um, this is my D800, which I recently assembled from different parts of ones that I got for free. And um, there's also another unit that I've built that doesn't quite have all the pieces because it had to be one or the other. And it's, this is the sister unit to the D800, which is the Dell Inspiron 8500 and 8600 series, which did not come with the extra older ports like the printer port, although the D800 still came with it because businesses might need use of those ports, I guess was the idea behind it. Anyway, um, this is kind of a video response to, um, uh, what is his name, I just saw it, this guy over here, um, Rocker Boy 12 Dog Lover. Um, I saw that he'd done a YouTube video on the D800 and putting Windows 7 on it. And I wanted to kind of put something up because I have Windows 7 on my D800. And as you can see, um, Arrow does work. You can see the transparency down here on the start bar. And of course, when I call up the menu, or when I open things, for example, you'll see that Arrow is functioning fully. And let's see, minimize that. And just demonstrate a little more so you can see the arrow does work with these laptops. There's your arrow peak kind of thing that was around in Vista. And then you've got the full preview from scrolling over. It's just a new addition to Windows 7 for the arrow effects. Um, there's my channel, which doesn't hardly have anything on it, but I'm going to try to start adding to it. But, uh, yeah. Arrow is fully working. I actually get a performance rating score, or whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see if I can get this to pull up. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's not out of focusing. This is supposed to be a good camera. Anyway, it says 3.6. I don't know if you can make that out or not, which is pretty damn good for a computer this age. Um, this particular one has the ATI um, Radeon Mobility 9600 card in it, which is an Aero approved card. Um, you can actually take the cards out of these. You can access them by taking up this panel up here and then taking up the keyboard. Um, sorry about the cigarette in the video there, but anyway. Um, I currently have a 40 gig hard drive in here because I just, you know, was building it um, possibly to sell, but I think I might keep it because, you know, the more I've watched about these, and the more I've used it, I really like it, and the speakers are really loud. There's a few little marks on it here and there, but it's in pretty good condition. Um, this one doesn't have the built-in Bluetooth. It wasn't, um, that option wasn't included with this one or any of the other ones that I got for parts. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's works great. It's really responsive. I mean, it might as well be a new computer. It's great. But anyway, um... There were some other models that came with a GeForce FX um, 5200 mobile card, and that's also an error capable card, although I think those only had 64 megs of RAM, and this ATI 9600 card actually has a 128 megabyte card, and that's pretty dang on big for a computer from this long ago. But, um, yeah. I've also got two D810 sitting down there that are in really nice condition. I picked up for really cheap. Um, they were missing hard drives, and that's all they were missing. And they've got 128 meg cards in them. And, you know, they're the newer models. But um, anyway, this video is probably long enough already, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this. But um, yeah, if you have the D800, you can have arrow effects. Um, I'm not sure if there was a third card that was put in these, but I've only ever seen two different cards, and it was the ATI 9600 and the GeForce FX 5200, and both of those are arrow-capable cards um, with WDDM drivers. So, anyway, still a really awesome computer, and uh, if anybody needs any help getting the arrow working in case they're having any issues with these, and they do have the cards that are supported, um, Sometimes, I'll just do it real quick, I guess I'll show you. Sometimes when you install on a computer um, a new copy of 7, it doesn't always have arrow, an arrow theme enabled. 
it'll have just this Windows basic crap down here selected, although the card is capable of Aero. So if it is an Aero capable card and it's not using the Aero theme, and but it is capable of course, then you just click the, the theme up here and it'll apply and it'll take a few seconds of course to get the Aero stuff running. And I mean that's what I think I might have had to do with this one. I also had to wait through a couple of Windows updates to get the driver to actually show up for the WDDM driver. Because, of course, if you install the driver that was meant for XP, um, this is not the WDDM driver, it's like a XDM driver, I think they refer to it as, it will work, but you will not have Arrow. You have to have the, the newer type of driver. But anyway, like I said a few minutes ago, I'm still yapping and I need to go ahead and stop. So, anyway. At least it's another video, I guess, but... Alright.